November's been done for nearly two weeks now. I wanted to make a quick video just to show all of the shaders that I did, show you where you can download my shader pack for free, and also just mention a couple of things that I had really emphasized to me throughout the month. 30 days doesn't sound like a lot when you go into it, but if you're doing something with quite a high kind of creative and intellectual output, it's extremely draining. So this is like one of the really important things about maintaining a sustainable practice and also developing your personal practice is planning and constraints. Anything that you do consistently is going to improve and you're going to get better at it. But if you try and hit that at full sprint and maintain that for as long as possible, you're just going to end up burning out. So part of my issue was that I started on kind of a high um, expecting that I'd be able to maintain a sprint and I'm really proud of the shaders that I made but I'm also aware that it was kind of my downfall. Two things to just keep in mind when you're trying to develop yourself as an artist and, and maintain your practice. Planning is super important. If you can plan clearly and understand the scope of the project that you're working on and then stick to it as well, not have scope creep, then you're going to be a lot better off for it. Secondly, constraints are your friends. 30 day challenges are really good. I've done Inktober before. I've done 30 days, 30 faces. I've done a couple of other more traditional drawing based 30 day challenges. And they're excellent in terms of developing your style, developing your skills as an artist, but they always end after 30 days. And what you really want to be doing if you're developing a style is you want to be doing this for years and years. If you can do five years, you know, look at people like Beeple who have done like 13 years of dailies. As far as I'm aware, Beeple has never missed one. But if you look at Beeple's practice, he has this constraint where he says 45 minutes to produce a finished piece of work. And however it is after 45 minutes, just send it up and it's done and it is the daily and you can tick off that day. No one piece of work has to be incredible, but on mass, you have this huge portfolio and you have all of this uh, improvement over time, all of these skills that you get to test out in a kind of sandbox environment where things don't really matter. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing my shaders this month. Definitely proud of my output and I want to keep going with developing myself as a procedural artist. So what I've done is I've put all 30 of my shaders into a single file if you want to dive into this you can just open the file and just select the shader that you want to have a look at so if you want to grab this and get it for free then you can come over here to my gumroad the links down in the description just type in the number that you want to pay including zero is fine and then just click i want this and it's going to take you through to the purchase so that wraps it up thank you for your interest in my journey this month and thank you for the support i've had so much support for the shaders this month. I'm really grateful for that. It's been really encouraging. I've learned a huge amount and hopefully I can continue to share and offer something of, of, of value. So there we go. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.